me today, Sonny. Make sure everything's okay. All right. Had an interesting little job the other day. Had a lever unit that when uh, the maintenance guy was checking out the belt, he noticed oil in the bottom of the, the unit. And it is a downflow unit. It's a Challenger uh, system. I believe it's a 67A model. We gotta check everything out. Went to do a leak check. We had standing pressure, so uh, 407C, so about 103 pounds standing pressure. I went to uh, check everything. I got my Testo 316, I got my H10, and I have my ultrasonic. So I'm going around all the piping and everything on this thing, and I'm checking it out, and I'm not getting anything with the ultrasonic. I noticed oil, like right here, when I opened it up, and I thought, I just knew it was this in my mind, but I went with the ultrasonic, didn't get anything. I went with uh, 316.3, didn't get anything at all off of that, which really amazing because it's really sensitive. So I finally took the screws out of the back, the mounting bracket, and I took it out and I took my H10 and I went to it and I put the H10 right here. See, it was mounted, yeah, right here, and it got a hit. My H10 actually give it got a hit off of it. Yeah, boy! So my only rationale was the reason the oil was there is at low pressure when it was running, it was causing a leak. And at standing pressure was high enough, it was sealing the leak. So right now I've got about 100 PSI on it. And I was noticing no bubbles. So I'm going to back this guy off. Not gonna be a leak right now. I'm gonna have to bleed the pressure off. Look at there. Bubbles. Low pressure is leaking. So while this thing was operating, you had like 60 psi, you know, uh, suction pressure. Things started leaking. And I, and I knew that's what it was. I went ahead and got the replacement part and uh, put it in and got everything going. But I thought, I'm going to bring this thing home and verify what I thought was happening. So there you go. It's one of those little things you get there and you don't see anything. You can't find anything. You got to kind of think, okay, what normal operating condition is this in? And the other thing that made me think it was a low pressure leak was, you know, you got an adjustable bellows on this thing. So I actually took my screwdriver and I moved this around a little bit and I felt felt the refrigerant get cold in my, I felt this get cold in my hand, so I knew the refrigerant was leaking out. But I just want, you know, I brought it home. I thought I gotta verify this just to make sure I'm not crazy. And uh, the bubbles tell the tale. Bubbles, you got troubles. But I wanted to share that, you know, some a lot of more experienced techs might know this, just like second knowledge, but I thought it'd be something nice just, just to share uh, an interesting, see how look at that thing go. It's just, you know, that's why the oil was coming out. So sometimes when you have those uh, leaks that are just seem to disappear when you've got the unit off, think about what, what is the unit doing? What What is it? Uh, is it a high pressure, low pressure? Is it a low pressure switch? So. What's it doing during operation? It's running low pressure, and it's going to obviously have its highest pressure when it's off and everything's equalized. So you got to think outside of the box and think what the what the switches and safeties are doing, and try to think, okay, when it's normal operation, what state is it is it in? And that's kind of where I led to this that it had to be leaking do that. And if I hadn't got the hit with the H10, honestly, I probably would have messed with it a little longer. I probably would have had to put it in operation and actually see it happen. Luckily, the H10 uh, picked up the leak, so I verified that's where the leak was coming from, so I didn't spend much more time on it trying to figure it out. But I thought it was just an interesting little tidbit there, and I wanted to share with other people. And, uh, you know, sharing, sharing a little information. If you didn't know it, you learned something. So, I hope this was informative to you, and uh, everybody, I want to thank you for watching.
Sonny says bye. Sonny. Sonny. Come here. Come here, baby. Yeah. Tell her, baby. Yeah. Kiss. Give me kisses. Say kisses, kisses, kisses. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.